ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the Book of Unwritten Tales. I am Brazen Braden, and we are standing here with a troll that's guarding my two compadres, which we need to rescue. Uh, all I've got on me is a mirror and a fishing rod, and I can look at the cliff. There's a steep drop down there, and even I have problems climbing back up the cliffs. So if we can get the troll down into the waters, we should be dandy. He's a real problem. Trolls are almost invulnerable and incredibly tough. One can only eliminate something like that by using one's wits. Like using the old mirror to blind him and send him stumbling over the uh they the edge. Look unharmed for now. Once Monkus has got what he wants, it'll be curtains for them. They both look on there's a steep Okay, uh can I use the mirror on the troll? Hey, look over here! Time to go. That's made him mad. Not entirely sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought I would be able to do something about that, but... Uh, can I talk to these fellas? They both look on harm. They both look on I can't. I can't talk to them. Let, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hey, you. Have a second look. Better not. Last time his laziness triumphed over his anger, but it could get a bit uncomfortable for me next time. Okay. I really try and ensure that a third attempt is not required. So I can't move from here. No, let's get the fishing rod. Please. Hmm. Oh, what's this? If I leave cover, then the troll will see me. Uh, so can I put something there? Can I use the fishing rod there? Or there, or there, or there, or anywhere? No. Can I use the mirror? There. Better not. I should really try and ensure that. Okay, I can't do anything. I, 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 there's nothing I can do here. Uh, we need to probably find something else then. Uh, can we? Can we climb down? No, we cannot. Let's swing across. Um. Hmm. Is there still something that can be done with the rings? I don't think that the rings will help me again. At least no. That oops. I didn't mean to go in here, but okay. Oh, I can't take those anyway. They stuck. Uh, can I come through here? Will she this time? Nope. I'm. No. All right. She doesn't want to do anything. Uh, she apparently totally and absolutely useless. Uh, I'll go back in here see if I can find something. Nope. <laughs> well, she took that one. Why didn't she take that before? Now she can take them. What's that all about? Maybe we can use the crystals to blind him even further, like a, a super blind. I don't know. Alright, I'm back. I actually, I couldn't figure it out. I had to look up on the wiki uh, how to do this because nothing here I could do. And you'll notice this club here, it doesn't have a bloody ex uh, 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 thing on it. You know, maybe this one is meant to be there. Because this one down here is meant to be up there. It's like they've all shifted. Don't even ask me. Uh, anyways. I don't want to become acquainted with that thing. So this is the troll's club. What we can do is tie the fishing rod when he moves his arm. The troll would see me. What? Oh, I can give them a sign. I can give them a sign to distract him. Oi, troll! Okay, troll so you're stupid me. as a well, a troll. Tie it what now. What are you doing? You're even stupid for a troll. You shouldn't. If your club had woodworm, it'd be smarter than you. Okay. It doesn't mean it really, <laughs> Wilbur. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit frustrated that this that this took so long to figure out. Hey, look over here. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> hey. We can't look at the size of that troll. Uh, the the club. No treasure is worth that. 
Don't you know who that fat little guy is and who his mother is? I know! I've eliminated him! You've done what? You've done what? Get the ship ready for departure. <laughs> Wilbur and I'll get the treasure and we'll be back in a second. I will get the ship ready, and as soon as it's ready, I will depart, with or without you two. But, but Captain Nate! You know as well as I do that you can't simply run away and hide. I've trapped Mortroga's son, and you were there. I'm done for. <laughs> yeah. Only the Archmage can protect you, oh. and he wants the treasure, so wait here. Okay, gosh, uh, that was awfully frustrating, I think because those... Those uh, magnifying glasses shifted or something, and I couldn't find what I was looking for. Most annoying, has to be Let's said. Go. Okay, crystal time. Wow, almost a little eerie. It's like a tongue. Let's do it. Let's carry on and get us some treasure. What Indeed. kind of monster do you think the statue represents? I hardly think that's relevant. Like it's like a giant crab, isn't it? Got like got like pinches. Maybe so. Oh! Ha! 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 <laughs> oh, good gracious. Oh! Ivo! Mm? It's dark. And I'm not looks... really good with the dark. Then you should sort out some light. I can't help at the moment. Mmm. Okay. It looks like we're inside something. Wow, uh, a dried up corpse. Its skin is like paper and it it's a box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Got it. What did we get? We got a box. Let's open the box. What's in the box? Mm, the box is full of little packages. That's a glowy glowy glowfish. And the packages are full of dried square things. Feels like cubes of dried grass. It smells a bit like it did in sea stone, like sea ocean. It's so familiar. Hmm. Okay. I know what they are. Dried jelly glowfish. Jelly ah. glowfish are always shipped dried in small boxes. Did you just lick the jelly glowfish? Uh, no. no. Then how do you know what jelly glowfish tastes like? Well, that's my business. Okay, so we can lick them, or ah, oh, we can throw them into liquid, and that should make them glow. And we can I see a container uh, for there the she glowfish. is. Otherwise, they'll get away. Look, there she is. She's uh, she's hanging on the tonsil <laughs> of, I guess, our giant crab monster that we're that we're singing, uh, that we're inside. Oh, that's a, a thing, something metallic. Here's some kind of thick, rough cloth and rubber. No idea what it is. Can we take it? This thing's too big and heavy to move. And it doesn't look like there are any loose parts. It's some sort of body, isn't it? What about that blackness? What's in that blackness? Whoa! G ghosts! Or, 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 or something like that. Hmm. Or some kind of cloth. A cape, maybe. It's so dramatic. No help to me, anyway. No help? Are you sure? Uh, feel the thing. Feel the tonsil. Whoa. Warm and soft, like a bag of warm fat. Delightful. That's me. <laughs> Why are you so soft? You're anything but fat. <laughs> Those are not my ribs. Oh? oh. What were they then? Would you kindly take oh. your hands off me now? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bum. <laughs> I guess I know I didn't have to, you know, feel Ivo. Let's do it again. That's Ivo. And there's absolutely no reason for groping her again. Ah, that's Ivo. And there's okay, fine. No more groping. Uh, what's this? Something cold, made of metal, I think, like a sphere with round protrusions. Sphere. With Some part of this thing are made of glass, it seems. Ah, our capsule. Okay. Uh, can you take it? It's quite heavy, but it's hollow. There's an opening on one side, so it's a kind of container. Sweet. Now can we put the jelly glowfish I in the container? I should put the liquid in the container first. Okay, 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 fine. Fair enough. Let's fill it up with stomach juices or whatever the stuff is. I filled the container with that stinky liquid. Okay, and we put some glowy jellyfish in. 
I'll put the container down here and put a jelly glowfish in it. Wee! Ew! Uh, Ivo? Yeah? I don't think that was a passage. You don't say. <laughs> Good work. Uh, I think we should get out of here. Fast. Not without us getting what we came for. Hey! You mean... Treasure chest. Absolutely. The artifact of divine fate. It isn't just being guarded by the monster. It's in the monster. Let's get it. Is he gonna let us? That is the question. Hmm. Maybe I could use the barrel as a boat. But I'd still need a paddle. We I have one. Row with my hands. Yeah, we've got one. Ivo has a... Ivo has a paddle. Right? No! Where's it? Oh, I used it in the in the Smacker 1000. Ah. A suitcase with human clothes. Too fine to be an adventurer's. Perhaps a merchant ship ran aground on the rocks out there and it belonged to one of the passengers. Okay, is anything worth taking? I would never, ever wear anything like this. I'm not asking you to wear it. Just take something. Okay, not. Uh, let's look at the jelly glowfish, see what she thinks we about it. Capture moonlight and crystal files and use that for lighting. However, here a jelly glowfish will have to suffice. Capture moonlight in vials. Interesting. No, oh, she's the acrobatic one. <laughs> oh, look at her go! Uh, that's it. Okay, Wait, what do we got? Now it's my turn. Uh, no, why? Let's try and think of something else for you. Yeah, you don't need to come across here. Let's look at this machine. Play some music, that's maybe. You know me. That means that it's dangerous and highly unlikely that it'll have any useful purpose at all. <laughs> but something that he needs to use. Stomach acid. Ew. Stomach acid? A whole load of it. It can dissolve a human being in minutes. Wow. Oh, and by the smell of it, that's already happened a few times. Ew. Uh, I don't want to use one. Look at the board. Probably use that as a, a pedal. Board. It's about a metre long and one end runs to a point. Okay, let's take that. What have we got down here? A horn. Interesting. I've seen something like that once before. It's a kind of musical instrument. The wild men of the mountains use something like that. So, so, there, was there one in the pub? You know, in the brewery, up in like episode one and two. Was there one of those? I don't know. Doesn't I don't work. think. I, no, it doesn't work for me. But uh, I'm not a gnome, so I wouldn't know how to blow it. The smell coming out of that hole is abominable. It appears to be some sort of drain. Delightful. Climb down into the smelly hole. No, thank you. The chest seems to be blocking this hole in the wall. Perhaps it's being sucked in tight. Can we pull it out? Is it going to release like acid all over I me or something? Get it out. It's being sucked in tight. Okay. Can I get down in the hole then? I guess. <laughs> As if. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So let's let's head across back over with the barrel. <laughs> oh my word, that animation! Okay, and let's um, let's give the board to the gnome, to Wilbur, so Here, he can paddle. And now we can Thanks. switch. We can switch to Wilbur. And oh, we can also look at the suitcase. Let's go look. Maybe we find suitcase something. Lovely filled with all sorts of expensive clothes: lace, silk, long johns. Long Only johns. The best. These clothes don't fit me. Too bad, really, because sometimes it gets a touch breezy under my mage robes. A touch breezy, yeah. Okay, nothing there. Let's let's swim across and use the the devices no there. No room for Ivo in the barrel, but I should be able to reach the other side with dry feet. Yeah, you don't want your feet getting wet in that stuff, man. And uh, physics, physics wise, she would not have been able to run across the barrel like that with one open end. It would have to be a sealed barrel. So, uh, yay physics, huh? Now I can look at the stomach acid too. That's some sort of corrosive acid. No idea. How too deep for weight. Yep. Now let's look at this machine that you should know about. My dad gave my mum one of those. You put a slate on this round plate and then carefully lower the needle onto the slate. Gamma and then phone. you hear the sound of a needle scratching across the slate terrible noise which is then amplified using that pipe there but you could make music out of okay never mind they haven't gone that far they just make terrible noises we'll take the machine
That thing is too unwieldy for me. I'll only take the scratch loudener. Okay, the scratch loudener. <laughs> okay, um, what about the Looks pipe? It's like a giant horn. Maybe the giants made them. Not bad. Do it again. One last time. For good measure, why not? Okay, thank you. Uh, I, obviously, I won't be able to pull this out. No, that's too high up for me. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the hole. Yeah, that stinks. Like, like, you know, something really bad. Go down there. I'm not climbing into a hole like that. Oh, come on. Somebody Don't be else so... can do that. Don't be no, so shy. It's okay, Will, but you do it. But, um... Oh, don't elves have a better sense of direction? You're much smaller than me, so you can squeeze your way through a narrow passage. But I... Uh... Get on with it. You want to be a hero, don't you? I would have leapt at the chance if someone had asked me. No, of course you would have. <laughs> uh... All right. Whoop! Uh, am I... Am I doing things? Lighting the torch, taking a firestone... Take the wooden lid? A barrel lid! A barrel lid? Take the precious stone... Stone of the south wind with the statue of hope? Oh! A music puzzle! Play the melody back on the skull organ? Just sit back and relax while he solves it all for me. <laughs> wow, a ghostly apparition in the mirror. Talk to the mirror. I need help. This will help you. Take the rope. <laughs> strong rope in good condition. Time to head back. But how? Oh, eh, I get it. Throw the rock into the other side of the seesaw. Whee! <laughs> oh my word. And how was it? Ah, uh, the usual. All those puzzles and things took him like a minute or 30 seconds or whatever. When I get to have to do it myself, it takes me forever. Rope. Can we tie the rope? I can't reach. Oh, we can't reach. Okay. I, f I figure we need to make the scratch louder uh, thing on here so we can blow a loud sound. Alright, yes. Now give it a blow. That didn't do very much. What is this? This is a wooden lid. And a paddle. Can I put the wooden lid on here? No. Close the wooden barrel. Why would I want to do that? So I can that kick it across help. to her? Ivo and I still wouldn't be able to get to the other side together. Oh, I know. We. I need to go across... Get in, close the lid, and then Ivo can um, roll us both across. Yes. Okay, I'm back. All right, uh, Chappie, you need to get in there. Look what I found, Ivo. Oh, I've got an idea. Crawl into the barrel, will you? Uh, okay. Are you sure this is safe? Yeah, of course. She'd never been put the lid on. <laughs> He's busy drowning oh. in the. In the old uh, acid there. <sighs> Never again. At least we're both on this side now. Yep, okay. Now take the rope, give it to Ivo. There you are. Thanks. Thanks. Ivo, can you please tie the rope to the old... Uh, I'll the tie old the rope uh, to thing? The handle. the handle, yes. Okay, now, now, can I blow in the horn now that it's got a scratch maker noisy thing on it? Doesn't work. It does work, you just don't know how to do it. Uh, okay, let's talk with Wilbur, see no if we... Oh, or not. Um, pull the treasure chest out of the let's wall with try. a rope. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's working! Yoo-hoo! A 
appears that we've done our big friend a big favour with this. Why was he happy? A beautifully worked chest. Looks solid. It was like lodged in his insides or something. The chest won't be that easy to unlock. We'll need to break it open. Perhaps we could freeze it and... Freeze it? <laughs> it doesn't always have to be so complicated. What have we got? I can't get it open. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Looks oh, is like it a complicated lock. I box in a that box. We ask Captain Bonnet. Perhaps he can deal with it. I'm sure he can. But first, we have to get out of here. Okay, so take the box. Hmm. There's something else in the box. Okay. What this else? This thing will make your voice much louder. Shame, because most mortal beings speak unbearably loud as it is, even without one of these things. Okay, so we need to even further amplify. Our, our 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 sounds here, so we can use this. Give it to Wilbur because he knows what he's doing with this pipe. Here, take it. Thanks. Uh, I'm the side, I Ivo, uh, over here. <laughs> they didn't quite get that right, did they? Um, okay, let's switch back to him. Put that in there, and blow into the horn. What are you doing there? Maybe I can communicate with the monster. That's never gonna work. We're surrounded by tons of flesh and blubber. Yes, but the sound of the horn is amplified, then re-amplified until it's about mm, a thousand times as loud in the end. <laughs> Physical humbug. <laughs> Obviously. I must have eaten something bad. <laughs> it can talk. Did you Th hear that? Take the box. It can talk. Hello? Mm. Who's there? Uh, your conscience. I'm your, um, conscience. That can't be right. I'm a monster without a conscience. Then... Hmm, maybe I'm your stomach. My stomach can speak? <laughs> what do you want? Eyes, I want eyes. I want to see something of the world too. I want eyes. That won't be so readily possible. And anyway, what is there to see in this cave? The same old walls for thousands of years. You are a thousand years old. You should know that. Exactly. You were with me down here the whole time and were grumbling. Who are you really? Uh, God. I'm a god. <laughs> and what do you want? Uh, make an offering. You should sacrifice something to me. Why should I? Because I am all-knowing and all-powerful. Oh no, you shouldn't have said that. Why should a sacrifice from me mean anything if you're omnipotent? Because, uh, uh, then I will be assured that you really adore me. You're omniscient, you already know. <laughs> um... Well, uh, um... Who are you really? Just me. Me. Who's me? Who is me? <laughs> uh, what the... two adventurers trapped in your stomach? Really? Sometimes I'm it's sorry. best to be honest, I guess. Would you let us out? No. I don't get my hands on food very often. But there's no meat on us at all. I was as thin as a toothpick, and I weigh less than a sheep. <sighs> Better than nothing. Come on! We pried that chest from that gap in your stomach. Which chest? The chest that was plugging up the hole. It looked painful. Hmm. I don't know what you did. But I'm feeling better than I have in a hundred years. Thank you. So will you let us go? No. 
All right, then. Oh, okay. But perhaps you could lure a few ships here. Or a whale or two. No, we'll see what we can um, do. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Goodbye. I thought Please that don't. monster oh, was really take nice. It. Perhaps we really could send a ship or two. Really, eh? Typo. So <laughs> strange. But if we... <gasps> what the... Surprise, my pretty one. But... But... Captain Nate? Nate? Have you been working with them all this time? Oh, no, my dear. It's just that I happen to know which buttons to press with people like our human friend. What did he promise you? Our lives, mine in particular, and the treasure. All of it, except for one item which he wants to select. I can imagine. Wilbur, don't hand over the artifact of divine fate, understood? Understood. The... The artifact of divine fate. Unlimited power. What's going on? Go away! I'm... I'm a mighty battle mage. <laughs> sure you are. Nate, you can't allow this to happen. He'll focus on his own affairs. That's what you should have done, too. Uh-uh. You... Ah! Hulk smash! Take the artifact to safety. <laughs> A knife! Ah! Ivo! Chapter four: The Wild Lens. Woo! 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 We've got the artifact. Ivo has been kidnapped, though, and captured. That's horrible. Terrible news. Terrible. Come on. Oh my. How could you do that? I've saved your necks. Well, yours at least. You freed the sorcerer, all because you wanted treasure. Do you seriously believe I thought for one second that Monkus would give us a treasure hoard? I made a deal with Monkus because it was the one small chance we had of getting out of there in one piece. Don't you get it? They would have pursued us and made our lives hell. And sooner or later, we'd have fallen into their hands. No treasures worth that. Do you think anyone anywhere will have a quiet life if that falls into Motroga's hands? I really didn't know. Hey! Hey, little guy, where are you going? Fine, just go. Ah! And next time, just tell me what it's... Uh... Wilbur! Oh! The hell? He's waking up. Ah! Nice and calm now. You're safe here. We're zombies. We're zombies. Uh, zombies? Yeah. I'm calm, and and inedible. Bad skin, very nasty flesh, and hardly any <laughs> brains. You see, he hates us. He's afraid of us, and that's why he hates us. Our committee still has a lot of work to do. Uh, what kind of committee are you talking about? We are the Committee for the Humane Treatment of the Undead. Oh? We're trying to improve the bad reputation that the undead have amongst the living. Uh, and amongst the dead. Because no one seems to like us. W where is Wilbur? The, there, there was a trap and a shadow. That was me. I knocked you down. You banged your head on a rock. Please forgive me. I don't really have this body under control yet. Why did you knock me over? What's happened to Wilbur? He probably saved your neck. Hmm. The chief orc from the camp set that trap. If it caught you both, then it wouldn't only be your little friend who's in trouble. Wilbur's in an orc camp? Oh man, and it's my fault? Uh, how do you mean? Oh uh, well... Tell us, boy. As you can see, we've been blaming ourselves for this mess. All right. My name is Nate. I was in Seastone by the Western Ocean. Then along comes this little gnome and... Are we recapping the story? Okay, later. Why is and she crying? wham! Everything goes black. Then I wake up and there you are. You... you deceived him? 
you were only interested in shaving your own neck. Well, it's not exactly like that. Shades of grey. You should be wearing this pillory. I've lived with pirates, cutthroats, but never, never. Now just hold it right there. Maybe I did behave just a tiny little bit narcissistically. You sold your friends down the river because you hoped it would help you get out of the whole thing in one piece? No. You have to get Wilbur out of there. And you have to free the elf. Yes. I, I know. know. I, I know. know. You're right. And I have to get the artifact to safety too. I will help you if you meant that seriously. My name is Gulliver. You can find me up in my workshop. Come on, body. <laughs> We're zombies. Okay, here we are. We are with um, Captain Nate. But we're going to continue this next time when we come back uh, to the Book of Unwritten Tales. We're on Chapter 4 now. Uh, we have to risk a, uh, rescue Wilbur and, uh, and, and get the artifact and Ivo back from wherever they may be. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Hit the like if you are. Uh, check out some of my other content and subscribe if you have not done so already. I will see you all soon for the next episode. So until then, I love you all, and bye!